In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Gospel of St. John, chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the miraculous signs you were doing if God were not with him. In reply, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. How can a man be born when he is old? Nicodemus asked. Surely he cannot enter a second time into his mother's womb to be born. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and the spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. Nicodemus was a curious but sensible man. He was curious about this new teacher from Nazareth, but he very sensibly didn't wish to risk his good name. He knew that if other eyes saw him talking in earnest with Jesus, he might lose friends, perhaps even his job. So Nicodemus very sensibly went to Jesus at night. Now, Jesus didn't rebuke Nicodemus on his very sensible attitude, not explicitly. And Nicodemus didn't begin the conversation with a question, just a statement. Rabbi, we know you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the miraculous signs you were doing if God were not with him. To this, Jesus started talking about a miracle that is far more important than cured leprosy or walking cripples, the sacrament of holy baptism. But Jesus spoke in a riddle. I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. Nicodemus took Jesus' riddle as a literal statement and quickly became confused. He assumed that Jesus was speaking of a second labor and delivery of a grown man. Jesus let Nicodemus dangle for a bit and went further into a discussion of baptism and the working of the Holy Spirit. He said, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless he is born of water and the Spirit. Jesus taught Nicodemus that the Holy Spirit brings only new life. Outside of the Spirit, there is only the dying flesh. Flesh gives birth to flesh. This means that sinful parents can only give life to new, sinful, dying life. The wages of sin is death. And this truth has shattered the hearts of many mothers and fathers who have lost children to an early death. Their consolation and tragedy is the same comfort we have every day. We have been born again by water and the Spirit. This miraculous sign won't feed the 5,000, but our baptism astonishes us every day. To the curious and the sensible, this kingdom and rebirth will remain closed riddles. But to the faithful, the kingdom of God has been opened by the work of Christ and his Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Dear Lord Christ, your spirit brings us into new life through holy baptism. Teach us like Nicodemus to treasure this mysterious miracle that brings us into your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen.